So you're looking to squeeze a little more ponies out of your WRX. Well, lucky for you, we've been blessed with a fantastic platform from Subaru and many highly reputable tuning companies that have made awesome pre-prepared packages for us to slap on our Subies and make some more power. In this video, we'll make the conversation that's often daunting around tuning and modification your Subaru simple by turning it into little bite-sized pieces of information that you can use to decide which power package is best for you. All of the data shown in this video has been sourced from highly reputable tuners, and keep in mind that Pro-Tunes, E-Tunes, and minor car-to-car -car differences may make these values slightly different. Before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you for tuning in to the Boosted North Media. If you're new here, welcome to the community. I hope you like what you see. If you do like this video, then please subscribe, leave a comment down below of more video topics you'd like to see me discuss, and leave a like rating. And with all of that being said, let's get back to the video. It's important for us to define stage kits and what the numbers really mean. A stage kit is a pre-prepared modification package, usually from a tuner, that includes performance parts and a tune. Each kit is labeled with a number, one, two, three, etc. The higher the number, the more modifications it includes, and the more modifications it includes, the more power you can expect to make. These mods are responsible for changing two primary fundamentals of your engine, increasing the amount of air into your engine and increasing the amount of fuel into your engine. These two together results in you being able to make more power. These power packages make it easy for us to swap parts into our Subaru that allow us to increase that threshold ceiling of power we were restricted by in the stock form. Now typically there are no restrictions for what a stage package must include as a modification at each number, however most tuning companies release packages that are released with a similar number that includes similar parts and that is kind of what creates the standard for what each number represents. Keep in mind, although stage kits are similar across WRX generations, they may differ slightly from generation to generation as you will see later on in this video. Now stage zero is only a tune. Stage zero is typically bought from Cobb with an access port and this tune comes preloaded on the device which you can load onto your car. Very, very minor performance gains can be found at this level, however it can change the driving and the way the car functions. Now this stage zero tune comes in at a standard price of 770 from Cobb Direct, however goes on sale often around the holiday season. Now the next stage kit is a stage one. Now this stage one package includes an air intake or high airflow filter and a tune. Several reputable brands sell this kit including Grimspeed and Cobb. Now although they are both considered stage one kits, Grimspeed does not include an ECU tuner but does include a three port boost controller, while Cobb on the other hand does include an ECU tuner but does not include the boost controller. We will talk about important details and tips for getting an ECU tune at the end of the video. Now using Cobb's dyno data, it advertises 293 horsepower and 336 pound-feet of torque respectively. This accounts for a performance gain of roughly 9% and 23% respectively. Keep in mind these results will be slightly lower with the 91 octane tune. Now the peak PSI for a stop VBWRX ranges from 12 to 14 depending on your altitude. This kit however bumps it up to around 15.2 PSI plus or minus 1.5 PSI when nearing redline. Now this is good for someone who wants a little bit of intake noise as well as a better feeling power curve. This kit has a standard price of $845 from Cobb Direct however it can be found frequently on sale around the holiday seasons. Now this install is very easy to perform for the average person with basic tools. It comes with instructions, but if you do need a little bit of extra help, there are plenty of video guides to be found online. Now the next kit on our list is the Stage 1 FF kit, which stands for Flex Fuel. As you can imagine, this kit is very similar to the standard Stage 1 kit, but this includes uh, Flex Fuel equipment. So this will include the high airflow filter, the Cobb access port, a flex fuel kit and a fuel pressure sensor kit. Now this kit is sold exclusively by Cobb. There may be similar examples online, but the one I'm using for this example is gonna be from Cobb. Cobb advertises 322 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque on E83 fuel, which is a performance gain of roughly 19.2% and 29.3% respectively. On E85, the PSI jumps to around 16.2 plus or minus 1.5 PSI when nearing redline. Now this kit has a standard price of $2,075 from Cobb Direct, but as with the previous kits, it can be found for cheaper around the holiday season. Now compared to the standard stage one kit, there is a very noticeable performance bump 
And for those who have access to 85, this seems like a no brainer if you do have the cash. This is also a great platform to start with as it creates an awesome foundation if you want to build more on your modification journey in the future. Now this requires much more modification, but there are plenty of resources online for those who want to tackle it on their own. Otherwise, plenty of local Subaru tuners will be happy to help you with your journey. Now moving on to the stage two kit, this includes an air intake, an access port, and if you're buying from Cobb in particular, a charge pipe and an aluminum intake tube. Now Grim Speed does have similar equipment just with slight variances but overall they are very similar. Now although a cat back is not required it is, I highly recommend it as this helps free up more flow if you decide to pro tune or e-tune in the future. Now like I said earlier sometimes stage kits would vary from generation to generation and this is one of those instances. In the past, stage 2 kits often had a downpipe or a J-pipe, but for this new generation, the manufacturers have decided not to have a J-pipe as a standard modification at this stage. Cobb and Grimspeed are the primary companies that are offering this stage kit. There may be some other smaller parties, but overall these are the two primary companies that you'll come across if you decide to go this route. Cobb advertises 327 horsepower and 363 pound-feet of torque for the stage 2 kit at 93 octane which is a performance gain of roughly 21% and 34% respectively. Keep in mind these results will be lower for the 91 map. This kit has a standard price of $22.90 from Cobb. It goes on sale often around the holiday season as with the other kits. Now this is perfect for someone who does not have ethanol near them and has no interest in running ethanol in the future. Those who want to have a great driving experience with an awesome power bump will find this kit very enjoyable. Now this is a more advanced install compared to stage one. However, a lot of the parts you're swapping out are very accessible and at the top of the engine bay. There are plenty of video guides online on how to remove your intercooler and all the other accessories that are also included in the kit. So now we move on to stage 3, but before we get too excited about stage 3, I must inform you that it is not currently sold from main tuning companies. However, I am including it as it is possible it may come in the future to the VB as the platform has more time to mature. Now traditionally, it would include everything from stage 2 plus significant fuel upgrades. These fuel upgrades would include fuel injectors, fuel rails, fuel pumps, fuel lines, fuel pressure regulator and a turbo inlet. The horsepower numbers will differ from tuner to tuner because the stage 3 does not have an OTS map so I don't have the data that would be kind of a standard benchmark so horsepower figures will vary from here on depending on what parts your tuner selects for you or you select for yourself. And now we move on to stage 4. This also does not have a pre-manufactured kit from one of the tuning companies yet. However, a package in this range would usually include engine internals, turbo swaps, transmission upgrades, etc. These kits are usually ones that will not be made directly from Cobb or Grimspeed, but usually from a local tuner in your area who specializes in these kind of vehicles. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I would include a section with details pertaining to ECU tuning. Now, all Cobb stage kits come with an access port. However, OTS tunes are a general map so you can run the new modifications safely without risking the life of your engine. It is advised you get a Pro Tune or an E-Tune so that your modifications can be dialed into your exact car. Not all Subies are built the same. Not only will you typically squeeze a little more extra horsepower, out of these new modification kits compared to your OTS tunes but you'll also ensure that the parameters are set properly for your specific car. If you're unsure of where to find a local tuner in your area that you can trust with your vehicle there are plenty of highly reviewed and recommended tuners online. If there are none near your area then e-tunes are a very practical and highly recommended choice. If you're buying a kit that does not come with an ECU tuner such as one from Grimspeed or other brands you absolutely need to get either an e-tune or a pro tune. Your Subi stock ECU map cannot compensate for the modifications done to the vehicle, so you're at high risk of creating long-term damage to your engine. If you decide to install these parts for yourself, I advise you either trailer the car to the dyno or communicate with an e-tuner and they'll instruct you how to safely drive your car and how to properly send them diagnostic data and logging so they can slowly tweak the map for you. So now we're in the comparison video. I'm gonna put a chart on the screen that compares each tune and their horsepower and torque figures on a graph so we can visually see where each kit will get you to your horsepower figure you have in mind. Now as you can see by the chart on the screen, the Stage 2 power kit has the most gains on the 93 octane tune. The Stage 1 flex fuel kit is also a very close second. If we're comparing dollars per horsepower gained, the Stage 1 kit with the 93 octane map is the best value at roughly $36 per horsepower gained. However, the Stage 2 kit with the 93 octane maps 
is a very close second and scores at around $40 per horsepower gained. With this close a margin, I think the value proposition is similar if you have the money to spend. If the money is tight, the standard stage one kit is your best bang for your buck. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, then please subscribe for more content like this one, leave a like rating and a comment down below which kit you bought for your Subaru based on the information from this video. If you haven't gotten up to speed on the two new STI concepts that Subaru is revealing at the Japan Mobility Show at the end of this month, then I advise you click on the video on the top of your screen, and while you're at it, hit the subscribe button on the way out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.